Đây là Pleiku cool, hả? Dạ đúng Pleiku cool có gì đặc biệt không? Em không biết nữa <cười> Ủa em là người, người Pleiku cool, phải không? Dạ <cười> Hello everybody, it is day 42. I am Kyle. I am in Pleiku right now and it is the capital of Zalai province and it's known for many things but what I know it for is great gum gap or fried chicken with rice. In fact, it's so well known that it's on my shirt which you can buy pretty soon. It's on my shirt right here. Pleiku, see? So basically what you have here is uh, some uh, fried rice, some colored fried rice I'm not sure what the coloration is for and the special thing about this is that the chicken is not your typical uh, processed farm chicken, right? This is all local chicken. This fried leg. Make sure when you're here, you should ask for the fried leg. I wanna, definitely want to specify. Oh my god. That is freaking good. It's funny here because the napkins here are like pieces of paper. So bring your own. Now in case you didn't know, the difference between this type of local grown chicken and a more processed chicken like the ones you see uh, grown commercially like at KFC and stuff like that is there's less fat here. The meat is tougher and definitely more juicy. Oh and if you're wondering this dish costs 60,000 dong or a little bit less than $3. I've been to Pleiku three times, and each and every single time I make it a point to eat gum gum. Oh, nowhere else in Vietnam can you get better gum gum, in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna finish up here, and let's see what else Pleiku has in store for us today. Behind me here and pretty much all around me is Bing Ho, Pleiku's largest lake and it supplies most of the city's water as well. And it's sunset right now, I uh, actually flew up here pretty late today. So it's just oh, it's so breezy right now, the weather, the ambiance is perfect. Oh, so crisp. Whew. Honestly there's not much to do in Pleiku, right? You just kind of come here, the small town, you chill for a little bit. Just. Soak it all in here. It's nice. Oh, it's crazy. I wish Saigon was like this. <laughs> okay, so the taxi driver just took us to a restaurant, but there were just a bunch of people praying. <laughs> I wasn't sure where we were, to be quite honest. But this place is supposed to be really famous. It's like a ethnic minority, stilt, traditional house food and whatnot. Ah, okay. I bet you it's mosquito galore. So if you want, you can actually hire the ethnic minority Jarai people to uh, do a dance and performance here. And it costs around a million dong. Uh, unfortunately tonight, we're the only customers here, but trust me, on the weekends, uh, I, I was told that they get pretty packed, so. And the cool thing about this place that I've noticed is, look, you get to eat off of a mat, a straw mat, and uh, this stilt house is modeled after the Jarai people's own stilt houses, so. It feels very, uh, very cozy, and uh, it's really interesting to be up here. I like, I, I kind of like it. I, I haven't really uh, been able to kind of rest, so it's nice. I actually tweaked my ankle earlier today when I left the airport, 
So I'm still in a lot of pain and uh, so it's nice to just kind of rest for a little bit here. Okay, and this is a very typical Jirai meal. Um, by the way, the background uh, that you hear there are people praying. Um, there's a lot of Catholic people here. Um, I think there were some French missionaries who brought that religion to this area. So in the, in the highlands, there's a lot of Catholics. Anyways, so there's uh, bamboo rice here with some wild local chicken. Our second chicken meal of the day, but this chicken is uh, barbecued or roasted. And there's also a, a pork skewers too. Actually, let's try that first. Let's try the pork first. Mmm. 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 Wow. Heo rừng phải không? Heo tộc. Heo tộc. Heo đồng bào. Mmm. Hả? Mmm. Wow. Very different. Mmm. Wow. That. Wow. It's just grilled um, pork. So good. Wow. Firm meat. Succulent. Juicy. So flavorful. And Andrew's a math genius. It's like, it's like cracking open a crab shell except there's rice inside. <laughs> the bamboo rice is kind of special. It's, just, it's more of a sticky rice and there's a little bit of coconut in there too. I was told a little bit of coconut juice in there. This is the wrong way to eat it, I'm sure. Oh yeah, take a little spoon. Man, huh? Take a little spoon. Yeah, it's like stick to rice. Very plain, but just a fun way to eat it. The key is to hold the spoon close. So you don't injure yourself, like I typically would. No chopsticks or forks or anything like that. Eat with your hands. That's the ethnic Gerard way. And the famous seasoning here to eat with your chicken or with the rice is called la ea. I don't know what the English name is. There probably is no English name. Mm, wow, it's spicy. It's like a lemongrass. It's like a little bit bitter, spicy lemongrass. This chicken is so much better than the chicken earlier, but the chicken earlier was really good too. It's like a day full of chicken. Huh. Holy crap. And if you're wondering why there was like a big gap between the last meal and now or the lake um, was because uh, I actually filmed something in between but I'm going to show it to you tomorrow something quite special uh, and, and quite dear to me so stay tuned tomorrow for that uh, with that being said this meal is done thank you for joining us let's head back to the city Just like many other places here in Vietnam, Pleiku has its own square, Wang Chung. What looks like a soccer field? No, no, it's just a walkway, path area. And people, young, old, kids, parents, whatever, they all come here, especially at night, walk around, uh, just kind of enjoy the ambiance. And the weather's actually pretty crisp and cool right now, like just like before. It's, you, know, you could probably sleep in Pleiku tonight uh, without any air conditioning. I think it's a... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's August 29th. No air conditioning needed and during the middle of summer. Winter might be even better. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted you guys to, to see what this is like. And yeah, but anyway, let's just head back to the hotel right now. Kind of in need of some rest. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm just sitting here recording the time lapse that you probably just saw right now. It'll take probably around 15 to 20 minutes or so, depending on how long it is. And uh, that building over there is uh, Wanzalai. And you'll see that company all over Vietnam, especially in Saigon. There's a few apartment buildings. But this is where they originated from. And they're quite well known, uh, quite powerful, I believe. And uh, yeah, just in, uh, originated from uh, Zalai, hence Wanzalai. Now you know. Oh, by the way, this is their hotel right here. 
It's a it's a four star, uh, and it costs like I don't know 50 bucks a night or something like that, like nine, a little bit less than 50 dollars with the Agoda fees. It comes uh, to around like 48 or something like that. And uh, people are practicing uh, lion dancing over there because it's almost the uh, Chung Tu, uh, which is like the middle of the year or something like that. I'm not I'm not too sure about that. If you guys know what that means exactly, leave a comment. Uh, this, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, but yeah, I'm just sitting literally like on the sidewalk. Like just I'm on the sidewalk of the of the street in front of the hotel, and I'm just just waiting for this time lapse. And that's you know another aspect that you don't always get to see when I make these videos. So and you already went to bed. that's gonna wrap it up here uh, I really enjoy this hotel it's a little bit expensive uh, on the pricey side but uh, it's worth it because you get uh, really good service and the internet is quite stable and there aren't that many options uh, available here in Pleiku either way thank you so much for watching this video I'm going to go make it right now and do follow me on social media to stay up to date with what I'm doing and where I'm at and uh, I think tomorrow uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh uh, release something that's a little bit more uh, engaging I think uh, so stay tuned for that all right guys see you later good night all right guys uh, what's what oh my mind is like ugh. so the taxi driver, he used to be the head chef, the head cook at Mitam where we ate the like famous uh, <laughs> fried chicken. That place has been around since the 60s. That's his uncle's place. Uh, and our waitress was his ex-wife. And now he tells us. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Bình thường gì đâu Mình sống cho con thôi chứ đâu có ý đâu